A local fort known for keeping America safe for almost 200 years is celebrating the 4th and the man it's named after. President James Monroe authorized the construction of Fort Monroe in Hampton almost 200 years ago. 10 on your side's Kara Dixon joins those, joined those at the fort as they honored his memory. Yeah, Laura, and they picked the day because it's also the 187th anniversary of his death. Now, historians say that Monroe did a lot of great things, serving during the Revolutionary War, being an ambassador to other countries, and most importantly, creating policies and getting treaties signed that still keep our country free today. If the walls of this old fort could talk, they might tell you the stories rooted deep in the foundation of America, possibly even the many great deeds of the man it's named after. He was responsible for the nation and he embraced it fully. Historians, park rangers, residents and visitors of Fort Monroe all came together to honor our fifth president, James Monroe, today. I'm originally from Canada and James Monroe was the man who established the boundary between Canada and the United States, so he's always, always been interesting to me. Mark Walsh is on the National Advisory Board of the James Monroe Foundation. He says besides authorizing the building of this fort, Monroe built 42 others securing our borders and helping to keep other countries out to this day. This is not something that was just um, chaff in the wind. His work was extremely important. Important work by a founding father who died 187 years ago on America's birthday. But he wasn't the only of those prominent men to die on this holiday. Uh, John Adams and, and Thomas Jefferson are well known to have both died on July 4th, 1826. A day we remember the sacrifices made. Freedom is not free. Any country in the world that has a measure of freedom knows it takes an appropriate force to secure that freedom for us. And, and, and the United States is no different. As many celebrate the 4th here in the shadow of a fort that helped make freedom possible, they say it's important to remember the man who helped make it that way. And it's also important to remember all the history that's taking place at the location where the fort is on. That includes Native American history and the first Africans brought to the U.S. colonies, now or the English colonies, sorry. And the fort also served as an escape for many slaves during the Civil War. Now, Fort Monroe will have a fireworks celebration tonight. They want to remind you that there will be road closures at 8 o'clock. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.